Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mono White Angels in Ranked. We played this earlier in the week. We did awesome with it. Uh, we weren't playing Ranked though. And so we're going to try it on over in the Ranked queues and see how we do with it. Uh, so we've been talking about the deck some here in chat as I was getting set up uh, before this. But basically we, we are a Mono White deck even though we have these green mana sources. They're just for Shalai if, if we ever get to use that. But... We have 25 lands, 20 white sources, which should be enough white sources for, like, you know, wanting to have two white sources. And it allows us to play five colorless lands. It's the strength of playing a mono white, is we get to have these mobilized districts, Field of Ruin, Blast Zone, Arch of Araska. Last time that we played this, all of these lands, especially Blast Zone and Mobilized District, really helped us win some games. But we're basically just a mid-range deck that's trying to curve out and trying to be too, trying to be kind of aggressive. We don't really want the game to go super long. Uh, we have a ton of two drops, as you can see here, twelve, really twelve two drops, twelve three drops. That hopefully we can like play a two drop and get ahead, um, including Tamik, which Tamik is just has a nice uh, has nice stats for only two mana. And if we can get ahead, then we can keep. Uh, keep the snowball effect going with Gideon Blackblade or History of Benalia, and then further cement our um, our ability to win with a Johnny Adversary Tyrants. If it doesn't work, our backup plan is our Angels. That's why I have the deck. I have our deck named Angels because they're our top end: Resplendent, Shalai, Dawnbringer, Angel of Grace. Also, uh, got all these for uh, finishing out like board stalls, flying through the air. Um, being our roadblock against aggro and just kind of ending games. That's what they do. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try, see how we do in ranked. We are really close to hitting diamond. We're two matches away, so hopefully we can win our first two or win like three out of four or something like that. Hey, what's up, Ice? Here on vacation. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, we're not really managing our opponent's deck too much with just the two Ixalan's bindings. Yeah, we're trying to get ahead, stay ahead, all that kind of stuff. We're not really um, interacting a ton with our opponent. We're trying to, <clears throat> you know, go over the top of them also with the angels and stuff. Our sideboard is where we have all of our interaction for, like, other aggro matchups. We have a bunch of baffling ends, and we have a, a whole lot of interaction in our sideboard depending on what our opponent is playing. All right, I'd like to draw a two-mana creature. Any two-mana creature here. I'll take any of them. And what's up, Gatsby? Hope you're having an awesome day today. We've had some good success so far today. Over in Ranked, we're almost out of Platinum. All right, good news is we did get one of our two drops. Unfortunately, this is our worst two drop against Mountain. But I did just ask for any two drops, so I can't be too picky. Okay, this is not mono red. That's good for us. Adonto Vanguard. Not so good against mono red, but better here. Yeah, I got some good rest yesterday. Definitely feeling a lot better than yesterday. Got a lot more energy and stuff. Planning on getting some more rest tonight. Asper control everywhere. Ugh. No, my knight. Good night. Okay, that's a good card. We'll use that one later. Honor Guard's not very good in this matchup, but at least it keeps my opponent from drawing a card whenever they play a Crackling Drake. 
But a 1-3 is just not a, a very good body. We're certainly going to be sideboarding out to Kali Honor Guard. Yeah, looking like Arclight. Which, Binding, not as good against Arclight, of course. Because they can still just discard their arc lights and bring them back. So I want either a land so we can play Dawnbringer or one of our Planeswalkers. I'd like, you know, Gideon or a Johnny. Those would really help us out. At least they're using a ton of one mana spells without getting Arc Light Phoenix back. So if they ever do get Arc Light Phoenix in the graveyard, it's going to be hard to return with them using so many one mana spells already. Three ops, two shocks. I want both the bindings, the settles, the wanderer. I don't want the honor guards. I'm going to ditch the Shalai's because I'm bringing in all the four drops. And Shalai is just smaller than Crackling Drake. Shalai is good against Arc Light Phoenix, though. I'm going to just ditch a Johnny. The problem is that Johnny makes my two and three mana cards a whole lot better. But without them, a Johnny doesn't do anything really on its own. I would like to like play more Johnnies and Shalai's, but we just can't play more four mana cards. Really. Uh, Baffling End doesn't get rid of Phoenix. Phoenix has CMC4. Baffling End does get rid of Electromancer. It's nice at doing that. Alright, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try having the two Ajani's instead of Shalai's. We'll see if we miss not having Shalai. Spell costs of one, and you have both Electromancer and Tithe Taker. How much would it cost? It would, it would cost one. Like they would, Electromancer and Tithe Taker would cancel out. Like if you want to cast an, an opt on the opponent's turn, and reduces the cost and adds the cost. It would cost 18. I like the crowd cheering with Mobilize District. I feel like I just have like like the like the effects and everything are just too loud. So I'm gonna I'm gonna 
lower that. I was, you know, like watching like some of my YouTube videos. I like had it on because I wanted to, you know, just kind of check to see how they're going and everything. And I felt like the effects, on, especially on the YouTube channel, without like music or anything, were like really loud. Hey, what's up, DJ Polly B? After Wizard. It's going really good tonight. We are back in doing some ranked stuff. I'm gonna, I have four donation decks for tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be all donation deck day. Uh, as you see, Saturday, we're going to do our no next sub battle stream. Perfect. See, I like a Johnny here more than. Uh, Shalai would be, good you know, it's better than what Shalai would be, but that's because we have the Adanto Vanguard strong. in play. <laughs> so we're looking great. With opponent not playing any creatures at all. I feel like if they don't play a single creature, nothing but card draw and removal will be just fine. Maybe not. They got a creature now. No. <laughs> BM, bad magic. That makes sense. Somebody BMs you, they bad magics, bad magics you. So, you know, we definitely want the Resplendent Angel in play, and I, I want to put the counter on the Resplendent Angel to get it above Lightning Strike range, because we've seen our opponent is playing Lightning Strike. So that's why I'm playing this pre-combat before I am attacking. And I'll just put it on the Dawnbringer also. Make the Dawnbringer lethal. So they, so they definitely got a block Dawnbringer. Oh, right. It was going to be a 4 4 anyway. Well, now it's out of Lava Coil range. Even better. See in yourself what I see in you. And so Phoenix decks just seem to crumble to everything in standard. Well, our one our one loss with Simic Midrange earlier, we're 4-1. Our one loss was to Phoenix. But this Phoenix opponent didn't really do very much. They just had... All they did was, like, spin through their deck both games and play a couple removal spells, but then that's it. Like, they really didn't have good Phoenix hands. Zoink. After Wizard. Welcome back for 25 months. That's so many months. I feel like that should get 25 hype boats. Maybe we should give you like as many hype boats as many months. Maybe that's that should be the thing. And Tino, welcome back for the 11th month. We'll see if I clicked 11 hype boats or not. I don't know. I just clicked a bunch. Um, ugh, 12. That was close. That's sub number 10 on the day. That's a sub goal. I'm going to mark that towards our next sub battle stream. It's our second one towards the next one. And that means we're let's crack a pack open. Hitting that sub goal. Crack a pack. Crack a pack. Oh, 
Ooh, a mythic. Awesome. Great pack. Y'all are good. <laughs> Usually just do the, the casual three votes. Need a bigger armada. All right, this is the big match, y'all. Oh, we need final boss music here. If we win this, we're in diamond. We're one win away. This is final boss time. In the middle of the run. Let's go, Angels. Finish it out. But not the Los Angeles Angels. I'm a Rangers fan, so... Los Angeles Angels or whatever, but... Model White Angels, they're cool. Alright, this is what our deck does. We just curve. That's all we do. We curve. Rude. Who plays Moment of Craving, anyway? Um... Black Blade's better, but that's like likely counter spell magic. So I'm gonna go Angel. They don't have a second counter spell. Nobody does. Dang it. Ugh. Wow, what a curve for them. Moment of Craving, Counter Counter to Fairy. Perfect. Just absolute perfects. I, march into battle. I can't Your complain at all about my curve, but we're not talking about me, we're talking about them. <laughs> Up the pace. I am not going to sit this one out. Thankfully that Teferi cannot bounce my Gideon. Nothing. Really? Ugh, never mind. Not again. Well it's a good run. I feel like if we were on the play, we would have won this game. Because if we're on the play, we just get underneath all the counter spells. Hold that thought. Don't worry, I got this. You don't have to have this, though. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say I'll be back. Am I funny? That's what I do. Again. Materializing? Yeah, there's there's stats out there that show like the percent difference from being on the player on the draw. I don't know like the numbers off the top of my head or anything like that. Ugh. I don't have a ton for this matchup. That's kind of the best I got was what we had there that game one. They had answers to everything. I don't really love Ixalan's binding here. Because of like their mortifies and both the Teferis getting rid of it. And like, you know, they just get rid of like the Ixalan's binding. Then they get their Planeswalker back kind of thing. Like that's a game that we got smashed on the on the draw there, but I think if we were on the play, we may have smashed our opponent because we would have like played our vanguard on two, and then they moment of craving the vanguard, and then you know we resolve Gideon, and 
you know, we just get to keep on going. They have to keep on answering stuff. I don't love these bindings in my deck. Could take them out for like Shalai, but I don't really have other things to, to bring in. Hey, we got a new sub. Hungry, hungry. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much there. Sub number 11 on the day. Yeah, love Tithe Taker turn two. Absolutely. And Gideon. God's bless us in our righteous. Your light will cleave the darkness. So a great turn two, turn three. We'll see if that can you know basically win the game for us. <laughs> Wow. I believe in you. Go, Gideon, go. We need war basic lands. I could see that. I liked these Ravnica legions, but you're right, they're a little old. We got war these days. Lend you my strength. Yeah, Gideon doing all the work. Now we got this instant speed angel of grace. Can we get one on the draw, though? Can we get one on the draw? Do I, would I rather play Demystify instead of Binding? You just don't do anything. I basically just want like these cards. Like Maybe just another Shalai, I guess? And one Binding? I'm playing another Shalai. Just want to play threats. Yeah, draw is going to be a little. It's going to be tough. Ugh. Yeah, this is Mono White Angels that we're playing right now. This is not a good hand with these four and five mana cards. July and Lyra are some of our worst cards in the matchup. Yeah, you know, our, our this matchup's all about the the twos, the threes, and then a Johnny. Mm. Turn too late for Vanguard. Binding's a horrible draw. We need land.
I gotta have Cry of the Carnarium. They're willing to leave history. It's gotta be Cry of the Carnarium, so I'm playing Tamik that survives Cry. Or they just had like the one counter spell they were planning on using that on history already, I suppose. Jeez. <laughs> My army will envelop this world and reduce the battle to shambles. Rise and shine. Close match. Game two, we steamrolled. Game three, we were just kind of stuck on lands and didn't have a play till turn three. It's not good enough at all. Game one, we both had awesome hands, but opponent being on the on the play got him that one. I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, Binding the Liliana because I don't want them just to be able to destroy the binding and reset the loyalty on Liliana. We need sorry I'm late. See so yeah, if I would have binding Liliana, Teferi just tucks binding. They get Liliana back, get to reset. Ah. All right, well, did not defeat the final boss. Back to the normal playlist. We are two, two matches away now. Back to two again. One and one. Um, that was... That was the one that was just playing right then was one winged angel. The you can find or here you go. Um I think boss playlist. Is that? I have the I have a link to the playlist. I thought that was it. There it goes. The playlist has like 10 songs or so. All right, Shalai's gonna be really nice here. <laughs> Just play the mountain from hand instead of the one from the light of the stage. Hmm. 
And they used the lightning strike earlier when they really didn't need to on us. So, yeah, hopefully they don't have another lightning strike, which doesn't look like... Ooh, uh, that's a good one. I was going to be playing Gideon and giving having Gideon give Resplendent Angel Life Link, but don't really need to do that with drawing the Dawnbringer. All right, so Mono Red, I want all these Baffling Ends. I want this extra Honor Guard. I want the Shalai, the Wanderer. Even kind of want the Settles and Bindings, honestly. Let's see, we're going to get rid of a Johnny, Black Blade, and a Danto. All right, that's our sideboard plan. Yeah, hopefully we draw some Leers when we have five mana again. Hopefully we do that. Yeah, Gideon's, you know, it's really good when you have, like, the creatures and you can attack and everything and give them lifelink. But besides that, like, when, you, like, this this kind of game, like, you're, you're just, we're just going to be behind where we're trying to stabilize and Gideon doesn't, Really help us stabilize. It does have a lot of loyalty, but it doesn't play defense at all. Well, this hand's good if we draw lands, bad if we don't. On the play, I'm mulliganing this. On the draw, and being up a game and on the draw, you can try it. Horrible draw. Oh, I need land. Oh, gosh. Hey, Satchmo. Welcome to the channel, Satchmo. I don't know what our opponent kept over there. Not much. Yeah, I, can't, I have no idea what they would possibly keep. But, oh well. Alright, back to our final boss again. I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to stay with the regular playlist. Here. But we'll see if we can get this and get into Diamond. I like it. Good two, good three. That's what our deck's about. Curving out. Um, I wonder if Tithe Taker is a better two drop. against the green-red deck. I think it is. By playing Tithe Taker, it basically means we're never going to be playing this Adanto Vanguard. But that's fine. This is, you know, like a Gruul Spellbreaker deck, like that kind of stuff. Don't really want the Vanguard, don't want to be paying for life kind of thing. Let's dive right into battle.
So all we need, like, all we need was like our opponent just to play a spellbreaker there, and then the vanguard would have done kind of nothing, or that thing. I guess we take less damage by blocking Null Hide. Ooh, I like the binding. Get that cure out here. Just gonna slip away. Keep them from drawing cards. Some cool war forests. All right, well, I guess I could have saved the binding for that thing. Land. Ooh, blast zone. Can we get this up to 12? Kill a Galta. It's a bad sign. Bad sign. Dead. All right, let's get some removal up in here. Get all these baffling ends, all the bindings, all the settles. Wander, yes, please. Can I get multiple wanderers up in here? Get you out of the deck. Um, yeah, Honor Guard's fine. They had Branch Walker, Pelt Collector. Fine. Do I actually need all these baffling ends? Maybe not. I probably have Steel Leaf Champion and Gruel Spellbreaker, though. Hey, Lurbex. Welcome. Thank you so much for that sub there, sub number 13 on the day. All right, Yud. Got a song request, here we go. Let me know if it works. Let me do 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 do. All right, that's too loud. Let me change something here. Realize that that's playing through. Oh no! I didn't get to sideboard. Oh no! Ugh. Well, I messed this all up. Stop. Close. Well, I just threw this away. Well, we'll see if Shalai Lyra can win for us. All right, that's my fault. I should have paid more attention to the sideboarding with us. I thought I had more time than I did, obviously. With this being our final boss match of like needing to win this to get to Diamond, Ugh, that's my fault. Good job, Honor Guard. 
Oh, I should Field of Ruin here. Actually, I should have just played Field of Ruin and taken out that red source. That's what I should have done this turn. Or just played this other Honor Guard now. Man, I am just... Uh, I'm just tilting here. Okay. Got to... Got to clean this up. Got to clean this up. Okay, so they have basic red. So Field of Ruining the root-bound crag would not have helped. Now, thankfully, Shalai is protecting Lyra from Collision Colossus. And good thing we didn't actually board in any enchantments for that Cinder Vines to do anything. Didn't draw a second green source. So we're not activating Shalai. Yeah, I think they were expecting a lot of enchantment removal over on our side. Almost there. Yeah, it looks like our not sideboarding plan has worked out for us. Hooray! All right, we'll see how how it works if we actually sideboard. So this is 59. What's my last card? Which one of these cards am I playing? You're just another Shalai to help protect Lyra and everything again. Should I get the that last song, that previous song, Ignite, from the League of Legends World Championship? Should I get that in the normal stream playlist?
Down to two cards left. Getting rid of their land war elf. Trying to cut off mana. It's okay, Yud. I like Zed. Colossus. I. My plan here was just to play Shalai. I'm still gonna do that. But Baffling End to Kali Honor Guard looks pretty nice. And I am glad I saved my Baffling End. I guess I have the Wanderer that takes that out. But I'll save Wanderer. So I'll go Baffling End Honor Guard this time with the Temple Garden in tapped Next turn, we'll have the six mana and have the double green. We get to start activating Shalai. <laughs> no, Yud, you're great. It's all good. Sideboard, the sideboard strat worked. Let's keep that Pelt Collector from growing. Um... Yeah, let's get rid of this thing. I speak softly, but I get that. See you later. Now that also prevents the damage, the non-combat damage to like, so they can't, they can't kill Sholai with like a collision now. Bye-bye now. Dude, Wanderer is sweet. That's game. Your deck is nice. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Everything's working. It's all working according to plan. Just put them down to one. Gain a whole lot of life. Deck is great. All right, Hawkeye, we did it. Rank up. Rank up, Hawkeye. He's sitting right here. See, there's Hawkeye. He's right here. He's all excited about the rank up. I'm not aiming for Mythic today. I won't get there today. Um, all right, we're going to play one more with Model White Angels here, and then we're going to move to Bant Legends after this. Bant Legends is a whole lot of fun. Looks like I need to do a computer restart after this, too. Or not a computer restart, but just a, an arena restart.
Sideboard craziness to diamond. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really necessarily say this is my real tourney deck. I mean, I don't know. We're trying different decks. This one's felt pretty good. Yeah, I've, I've definitely enjoyed playing this deck, and we've had some good success with it. Yeah, Shalai Wanderer is the new Shalai Tajik. Right now, normal time from 3 to 10 for the sub battle this weekend. But we're pretty close to getting one of our 12 hour streams from people supporting our sponsors. Like, one of the closest ones is Harry's. It's right here. We're only seven people away from getting a $3 razor from doing a 12 hour stream. Because if you go through my referral link with Harry's. And use coupon code Todd Stevens MTG. Um, you can you can get a three dollar starter set sent to you with free shipping, and help support the stream. We only need seven people to do that. If somebody can put it in chat, Hawkeye's in the way. I can't really type right now. Exclamation point, Harry's. Hmm. Don't really love any of my options here this turn. Bizzle says, I have, I have a Harry's Razor, and I would recommend that. Yeah. I walk a righteous path. Share in my light. So I have to be worried about the the problem playing Shalai here is finality. So I kind of need to be worried about Ugin. Curiosity and wonder. The hell's an Ugin? I can create or destroy. It's just like not even a good trade for me to have their like pay for life for their branch walker to die and have them draw a card. That's just not even a good trade. Uh, and they had finality. Come on. Well, that's likely the end of the game there. I mean, let's see if we we got to draw this fifth fifth mana. And be able to play one of these angels to attack Ugin. That's like where it starts. Of the it's not the fifth mana. Me. Finality's rough. I don't know what I want to do here. So I can see like playing basically all of these things. But we're certainly not playing all these things. I'm definitely not playing Vanguard. It's getting out of my deck. I mean, we're not going to win a... Maybe not. We're not going to win a late game against Golgari. Maybe I just actually keep like on the play. Maybe we just keep this in and bash. Go aggro. Yeah, certainly consider Prism Realm. I don't think it's better than other options. It, I think it would be better if it could hit all sorts of permanents, but it only gets creatures and planeswalkers. I think Exxon's Binding is a better card. A lot of times you need a binding like Wildest Reclamation, for example. I 
Oh yeah, settle. Oh yeah, I should have taken out settle. Whoops. I thought that I was missing something. I was kind of more looking at like my cyborg cards than my main deck cards. But yeah, I. I ugh. I'm going aggro. I should take out settle. Great. Go into history so it's two creatures next turn if I play a Johnny and tick up on him. Instead of just one creature with Resplendent. We stand together. I will lend you my strength. Johnny helps get our creatures out of finality. Be strong. Yeah, I definitely really punish with this double set all that just don't even want and or need. So I'm guessing they have like Jade Light Ranger here, where they're looking for another green source. All right, on the draw, we should probably be, maybe we go defense on the draw. And don't go vanguards and go settle and binding. Gideon and Johnny are going to be like our cards that kind of steal these games, though. Gideon just is not a good, nearly as good on the draw. If if we're going like with all these bindings, and get a couple more type takers in here. Over two of those bindings. Um, I th think I'm not sure. See, Wookies, I it's the latest deck list on Stream Decker. Whatever the latest um, Simic mid-range deck is on there. Uh, it is on the YouTube channel as well right now. And that has the link to the deck. All right, this hand's horrible, but going to five cards is really rough. Like, Honor Guard and a Johnny can win the game if we would have hit land drops. And we had the scry and we were on the draw. This is not going to work out like I wanted it to. They just get the 3-3. Three, three. Right, because we don't actually exile the thing. They just get a 3-3. Three, three. I should have chose the Wild Growth Walker then. That, didn't, that was not very helpful. Or just, you know, play Resplendent Angel. That was not very helpful.
Ugh. Wow. I guess they don't care about Honor Guard too much. Would have drawn a land here. I think I just hold up settle. Obviously, we didn't. Finally. You do not have to fight alone. Deliver us to victory. Please get... Please draw a land here for Lyra Dawnbringer. Come on, draw a land, draw a land. Land. Come on, deck one time. Oh, we did it. We really did it. We really did it. We got the contempt out of their, their hand and everything. We we used our one time. That was it. I'll take it. That was a good use of the one time. Our kinship ensures our victory. That was a good use of the one time, Hawkeye. You assume. much for fin finality doing anything. All right, four and one for Mono White Angels. Real close loss to Esper, also with our, our one loss. Uh, the game one, I think, was one that we lost because we were on the draw instead of being on the play. And then, you know, we win game two on the play, lose game three on the draw kind of thing. But yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. I liked this. This was, this one, like both Simic Midrange and Mono White Angels went 4-1 here. The Angels deck felt better to me. Uh, this deck played really well. Um, it was just really consistent. You know, we had good mana of having just a sink one color with 20 of those lands, a whole bunch of basics. You know, so we weren't really worried about color too often. We didn't get to really do anything with our all of our utility lands, though, this time. But yeah, all these two drops, the three drops, four drops, like it was just really consistent and played well every single game and, you know, gave us a good chance to win two of the three games because of that. Um, yeah, I, I really liked the deck. Yeah. All right, so if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the deck as well. And thank you for watching, and I will see you for another video.